Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, you ready, Crockett? <laughs> Where is this not gonna be distracting me? It's always on vibrate. I never have my phone even on vibrate. Oh my god, your leg! Do you hear that snap? Yeah, okay. that's a good, that's a Playing that's a healthy old. snap, bro. It's not no, I I was walking down the <laughs> stairs this morning to get something out of my car, and yeah. my knees were legitly hurting, and I'm like, oh, here it comes. This is gonna be rough because we're like right here. Well, no, because we're just not used to doing this. Yeah, it's, it's fine. The audio will be fine. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. How have you boys been? I'm here. <laughs> Same. It's been like two weeks. Tay resurrected us from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, have, have we all just been like super busy? I feel like you've been the least busy of us all, Crockett. Dude, there's been a lot of moving parts in my life right yeah. now. <laughs> there, there's been a lot going on late, re- lately. What's uh, What's been going on with you? Just d- getting different jobs and then being being unemployed. <laughs> Does I keep getting I keep quitting a job, starting a job, and quitting it, and then starting a job. How many jobs have you quit and started within the last three weeks? Yeah, three. What three. the fuck? <laughs> what's a three? So you you quit Zoe's Kitchen the last time we were in the started studio. Amazon. Now I'm working. In, now I'm going into another job. So. Tell us the Amazon experience. <laughs> yeah, how was Amazon? <laughs> it honestly, it was the most shocking part about it. The everyone that works there is super nice. Really? Everyone's really nice. Yeah. yeah did, he, did he know? Maybe it's just mine. I'm going from my point of view. Did he know what they were doing? Or no, least, everything's chaotic. Exactly. I think it's uh, across the board. It's it's everyone's kind of like in a panic disarray. They hire like college students. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have, everyone's yeah. everyone you talk to is like it's my like third week. Yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Jesus. There was a manager. I saw as a manager I saw like earlier this year. Like, are you new? She's like, yeah. There's <laughs> one like, man. My guy is new too. Like, she clearly she had no idea what she was doing. Yeah, right. there's one manager there that Have she you been was longer only than that manager in there. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm amazed that you've lasted that long in Amazon. Yeah, I'm I feel like you would have fucked up. Struggling. Yeah. I like how we have cats operating the the equipment today. Yeah. The, these are our sound techs. I don't know if you can see her, but she's right there. You can tell that we're not in the studio today. Uh, we're at my place because the mixer at the studio broke. <laughs> It was gonna be fixed. I, that's funny because we've not been recording for two weeks and yeah. now now it's broken and now it's broken so now uh, I can't even record <laughs> but hopefully they fix it by next time uh, but yeah this is what episode is, are we episode 63 63 yeah ep- this is episode 63 of the Drunken Chimp Podcast thank you guys for joining us we're in my place we're doing it like those fucking TikTok podcasts do yeah uh, it's just we should probably on the upload couch. one yeah probably yeah. upload one upload to this TikTok, to TikTok. Oh, have a TikTok podcast yeah so just people that make podcasts on tiktok they're like literally sat in a living room yeah and then they they just have a wide shot just like this and then brian in the edit do this shit and then they just like cut it in vertical and then like switch between like people talking it's great for tiktok man dude tiktok is killing it i'm so out of date TikTok with is killing it. the stuff you've been saying lately all yeah. week, i don't know what like, you guys are talking about <laughs> tiktok has been absolutely destroying it in in terms of like been like short form content tay you're not on your phone a lot so what what do you do when you're just <laughs> What do you do at home? I feel like you just don't. You just sit and watch paint dry. You yeah. just watch the ceiling for a little bit. Yeah. Really? <laughs> hey, what do you do? Are you okay? No. Do you need to go to therapy? What's going on? <laughs> All I gotta do is watch YouTube. I've been watching a lot of movies lately. Or what you been watching? Of. Watching Matrix. I'm on Matrix. Matrix. Too right now. Matrix. Matrix. Is that movie still hold up? Matrix one's fantastic. Can you nice. sit through an entire movie? Huh? Can you sit through an entire movie without checking your phone or anything? But sometimes. I can't. I can't. I'll get through like 20 minutes of a movie and I'll be like, start checking my phone, look back. And then I get angry at myself because I'm like, oh, why did I do this? I'll put my phone away. Like, I'm, I I know I'm truly addicted to my yeah. phone. Throw your phone in the bedroom and then go get it. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what's it doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> what's you doing in there, bro? Like, knocking the door. Like, I hey. got in my gaming mood <laughs> lately again. I feel I love that. What uh, you been playing? Uh, Kana, Bridge of Spirits, uh, Splitgate. I almost, bought, I almost bought that shit the other day. It's free to play. What? Kana? K- oh, Kana, yeah. That's $40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. Did you make, stop it, you make a video? Huh? Stop. What? <laughs> You're doing like, yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Just announce it. It's okay. It, why are you embarrassed? What are you talking about? <laughs> you, you say it like you're embarrassed. You're like, I've been playing it. Yeah, it's stuck in the middle of you two. Like, I don't want to talk like, about it. Dude, this is actually kind of it. funny because yeah, it's, it's going to be a full on. Pl- yeah. It's like having the same person on the side of you. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> I feel like my gay dads are fighting. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Richard? <laughs> yeah, I have Kane. I'm going to do a review on it probably next week. Can you go Hell light yeah. that sugar, <laughs> sugar Mountain Cowboy candle for me? Yeah. You guys should download Splitgate, though. 
What the fuck is that? The it's a literally Halo ripoff. It is it literally. I saw Tay playing it. Yeah. yeah, it's literally Halo. I was talking really? to Audi like this is like this good is like, Halo ripoff. Or? No, it's a good game, but it's a, it's a point where inspiration becomes a ripoff. Damn. Yeah, That's but right. it's not a bad game by any means. It just you guys got inspired way too heavy. With, For Halo. Yeah. I, is it like like old like Halo Three kind of Halo or like because uh, Halo Infinite is a totally. Th- I've been playing. I played Halo Infinite for a little bit because I got the the tech flight uh, invite. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 annoyingly fine. I'm hearing a lot about that. Yeah, it's like it's like it's kind of mixed right now. Yeah, it's just it's good because it's a Halo game. Like Halo games are always going to be good, in my opinion. You know what's better? You know what's better than a Halo game? What theme song? That's so much. I was like, shit. I was like, how long has it been going? <laughs> I should, let, I should let us get through an entire half of an episode. And put a theme song. And then, the end. The theme song. Yeah, for April Fool's Day. Or That'd something. be so funny. End the episode with the theme song. It's like, and Brian, you know, one last thing. I got a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I've got to miss in the studio right about now. <laughs> I don't know. (laughs) Mendez was sitting in my lap prior to filming. (laughs) Now he's. Mendez has been really bobbing with me on the on the laptop. Look at me like, why am I laughing like that? (laughs) She heard her name. Hey Mendez, how you doing? Take a shot every time I say, "Hey Mendez." Yeah. I said you'd be you'd be on your deathbed by now. Oh, dude, I'd be having cirrhosis. You say Mendez so much because she doesn't leave me alone when I'm like like gaming. It's Mendez. Minna, yeah. Minna? Her name is Minna, like the 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 I call Twilight Mindes. Princess. Oh yeah. But I say Minna's because every time she shows up, it's like, hey Minna's, how you doing, Minna's? See she responds to it. Minna Sencia. Minna Sama. Lord Minna. What did you say? Minna Sencia. Minna like like mine of Mencia? Yeah, no, it's like it's a level in Tell Rise. No. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck is up with you? Dude, you play the weirdest games. You know what's funny, Brian? Yeah. Years ago, this man used to hate RP- JRPGs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now look at him now. I told you you were missing out heavily, and now he's investing to him. Yeah, Persona 5, sure. Digimon. I think I think that's what that's where really where it kicked off. Persona 5 was, really did it. I went out of my way. I bought a PS4 and bought Persona 5, and it's been downhill from <laughs> <laughs> there since, <It's> baby. <laughs> You gotta have like sixty hours like, patience with a JRPG in time. I, I can't it. play them any time. Like if I play an RPG, that's the only one for the year. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to play Persona yeah. Five again because I got Persona Five Royal, but it's just so much fucking that's, time. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't buy R- Royal again because because I I like all you're getting is just some more a some little more bit characters. more. Yeah, you're like, literally getting more game. And it's like, <laughs> and the you were game getting was already fucking 100 hours. hours long. That's insane. That's yeah, the first time I ever played a game that was an actually 100 hours. That's what Persona 4 game. Golden was on Vita. Perso- oh, dude, Persona 4 Golden is like one of but the I, best But I still games. stand on this hill where you, if they just voice animated all the cutscenes and just kept you from having to read through dialogue, yeah. that game would have been 50 hours shorter. They just always, get ADHD medication. They always do that. Nah. <laughs> just get medicated. You'll nah. be high. <laughs> That's a. That, that, do you want to make Atlas go bankrupt? Fucking voicing all these lines. You know how yes. many fucking lines there are in Dude, that game. There's been. Uh, I think um, Scarlet Nexus is fully voice acted. No, it's not. There. What? What game? There's a JRPG I played, and it was fully voice acted. Not I cannot Digimon. remember. Not Digimon. I have. Uh, it's not Digimon. What's that fucking game? Uh, it's for Switch. <laughs> what's that fucking? I didn't game? even finish it. <laughs> I love, dude. I love when you don't know what to say. It, it, we all do this. You just, you just, you just throw a fucking in there. It's, it's, it's Astro something. Astro Chain. I have Astro that. Astro Chain. I almost, I tried I remember, to play Astro Chain, but I'm gonna I couldn't. borrow that. I remember, no, I remember when Tate bought that. He was I'll like, I don't know why Tate bought that because it, it, it wasn't even that interesting. No, it was fun. I just didn't finish it. It was like it was, it was like, a time I wasn't finishing. No, games. I remember you buying it and you'd be like, oh, I made a mistake. Yeah. No, that was, was that was Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. I would generally Animal Crossing is such a just. There's not a lot to do, but like you can just 
I, I mean, tried, you I tried like, to be what, different. Ten minutes of it. You can it? do everything, and then you can do nothing at the same <laughs> well, time. Good, two hours. Like I wasted sixty dollars on this. It's so. fishing. It's a fishing did, simulator. Did you return it? It's digital. Oh, <laughs> it's that's a digital. Rough. That's right. Every time oh, I'm unsure about a game, I oh, that hurts so much. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Every time I uh, I'm unsure about a game, I buy it physical so I can that's return right. it. I mean, I, at least I tried it so I could won't buy this series again. But yeah, I try to be different. That's what I get. Which is sixty dollars. I really loved. I love the concept of Animal Crossing. I think it's such a chill vibe. I played it for like three weeks when it came out, and it was like the beginning of the pandemic. Mm. So like I was tired of being sad. That's why it sold so well. <laughs> yeah, that's that's literally like that game came out at the perfect time because yeah. everybody was just like needed something to do. Yeah, and Animal Crossing was just a weird collectathon. And now I go back into Animal Crossing and I can't fucking stand it. No, as we talk about the Switch, you know, you, you just reminded me like I have Switch games. Uh, like, <laughs> I forgot I have Pokemon X and what is it? Pokemon uh, Sword, Sword and Shield. And Shield. I forgot I have I, that game. I have Pokemon Shield and I also don't give a shit about it. It wasn't bad. It just, uh, it's just not bland. a Pokemon. It's just bland. I like when I was playing. Oh, that's right. You uh, have it too. Sword. Yeah, I bought Sword. <laughs> yeah. That was my first Pokemon ever game I ever bought. Really? really? Yeah, it was Sword. Interesting. <laughs> um, when I was playing through it, I was like, I'm gonna go back to Digimon. <laughs> Digimon, dude. explain them. Explain the audience why Digimon's a way better fucking game. Dude, it is. It's you, such a better combat. It, it's like fucking, Persona. You people are fucking dick riders. I played Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and that game was ass. No, it what wasn't. is wrong with that you? That game was so. That bad. game is like Persona, and Pokemon had a baby. That's, that's so, so annoying. That's so funny that you say that because I have like 150 hours in Cyber Sleuth. Jordan, tell me, don't <laughs> po- the Digimon mobile games beats the shit out of a fucking dude, even Pokemon. the mobile. There was yeah. a phone mobile game. Me and Tay. Well, hey, have we ever told the story on the podcast how we were addicted to a mobile game in school? We put like at least fifty hours in that game. We, oh my god, me and Tay, <laughs> both of you, yeah. like combined the, or each, like each probably. God damn. Yeah, it, we were literally coming to class, ignoring what whatever was going on, <laughs> and me and Tay go to another room and play this fucking mobile like, game. Jordan, because we were it's doing Friday, because you can do raids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and there was like certain days of the week where you got like bo- extra bonus stuff if you were doing. So like when a new raid would come out, like hey, t- like get online. We <laughs> linked. I'm like, go find a bot. A it's so freaking, this yeah. is a mobile game. I was like, I never thought I'd see the day I'd play a mobile game like this. Yeah. That feels like a fucking MMO. And like then Isaac, MMO and then we go Isaac into it, which God, is hilarious. He, was worse. he kept playing and playing. He, he wasn't. He was addicted. To Isaac it. gets into shit. <laughs> he gets like, into. I have. I have seen Isaac be uninterested in a game, <laughs> play it for ten minutes, and then still be playing it like a year later after I talked. Dude, to whatever, him. whatever one was playing, Isaac would immediately get into it. Yeah, which is so funny. <laughs> Shout out to you, Isaac. Hope Final Fantasy's doing okay. Uh, fucking, I the only MMO, the only RPG that I've been able to put like a shit little time in has been Persona Five and Final Fantasy Fourteen. I don't see. I don't see you put a lot of time in. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. Dude, Final Fantasy 14 slaps. It's okay. People love it's okay. Yeah. Game. It slaps. It's so good. I, I can't see myself. I, it's yeah. just not one of those type of games I can dive yeah. head into. It's also very slow to begin with. For like, it's fucking a problem. MMO, well, RPGs, is Persona 4, Persona 4 Golden, Cyber Sleuth, uh, that mobile game we're talking Hold about. Hold on, we we deviated. What the fuck is? Why do you like Cyber Sleuth so much? It's a great game. It's so I could not get past. It's a like, way the better. First, Pokemon. Pokemon. It's yeah. a more advanced Pokemon game. It, it's like that. they took all the things that people want out of Pokemon and they just put it into Cyber Sleuth. With that Persona essence to it. It's yeah, like, it I, is like, I, did like, I did like the Persona essence to it. Yeah. And then like there, I mean, you just get these boss creatures. If you grind for it, if you're willing to put in the work, you get just destructive nightmares. And it pays creatures. off too. It's one yeah. of the fun games where grinding is fun. The like, like farming rewarding. them and then yeah. like de-evolving and then re-evolving them. I don't know if Pokemon's like that. No. But, like, you have to de-evolve, and then you can get a base. And, like, you get it so you get – so you put them on a farm. You get, like, a level one, and it goes up to a level 99. And then you can level them up, and then they can evolve, but they can get up to level 99. And then you can uh, evolve them and then de-evolve, de-evolve them, and then it makes them stronger. Because then they get boosts from evolving, but you can de-evolve them. You can make them just – OP really, as hell. If you're willing yeah. to put in thirty, if, if you're willing to put thirty hours into one creature, you can make it. As, you can make it really cool. Because when I got it, like, why the heck is my Ogmon t- not turning to Greymon, even though he's like a level ten? Add a D Digimon. And, and there's different routes too. So there's yeah. different base Pokemon you can get, or base Digimon you can get that can evolve into. There's like different bloodlines that they can go into, which is cool. So like one thing, it's not going to just always evolve into. It's it's going to evolve into a family tree. 
Watch me speed up this entire bit of the podcast and just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like a dragon or a dragon knight god fighter guy. It's like it's so badass. The designs are so much cooler too. The designs are okay. The designs yeah. are cooler for Digimon Look, fucking than raw. Pokemon, absolutely. But like apart from like that one anime where like the Digimon, like the people literally turn into the Digimon. Frontier. Frontier. I think yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. I, sh- I I saw that show when I was like fourteen. <laughs> Blew my goddamn mind away. <laughs> Holy shit! That I ever want to be a Digimon so fucking bad. Yeah. That weird. Shit. It's just weird. It's just a weird game. Arc of but no one talks about like grinding has to be really good in RPG. Yeah, it, it has to be good, really fun. It has to be really fun. Because otherwise, it's fucking pointless. Yeah, that's my biggest complaint with Persona Five. Grinding is not as fun as it no, should fun. be. That's not. Yeah, it throws you <laughs> off. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it, <laughs> it throws you off. She wants attention. This is a cat yeah. studio. Yeah, dude, you can't have a cat in a podcast studio. <laughs> Let's like bring the viewers in. Yeah. Hey, Mendes, how you doing? Yeah, hey, welcome, on, <laughs> welcome back to uh, podcast with the cat. Yeah. Hey, lay down. There you go. Good girl. So you got a new job. Yeah. And uh, first of all, why do you lie to us all the time? What are you talking about? Why do you lie to us, Crocker? I don't all lie. I'm not lying. Yeah. You you lie to us so often that when you th- it, it's <laughs> Wait, been like three weeks. It's been like three weeks. I've been wanting to talk about this on the fucking show. You lie to us so often that when you you. Tell us news about your personal life. I never believe you. Yeah, that's fair. I never believe you. That's a fair like, statement. I got a new job. Oh, what are you working at? Oh, some big tech company. What do you mean? What are you doing at a big tech company? And then you're like, oh, don't worry. I'm just just making making lasers, making yeah. crystals. <laughs> crystals. Like, crockets, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you're a 3D animator. What the fuck are you doing making crystals? <laughs> that's like, no, it's like that meme where like Kanye's talking about Lady Gaga. like, I like some of the Lady Gaga songs. <laughs> yeah. But what Polaroids. the fuck you know about cameras? <laughs> cameras, yeah. There's Polaroids or some shit. <laughs> yeah. So where, what are you working on? What, what is your job now? What are you going to be doing? Uh, I don't know. Not yet. They haven't told me yet. They haven't told you? No. They kind of like, I went in for an interview, uh, and then they kind of just decide where they're going to put me and stuff. <laughs> are these about to turn the recorder? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The camera. <laughs> Bro, sure. he, is one, he is one footstep away yeah. from just p- turning off this entire stream. <laughs> well, we're not streaming. We're good. <laughs> I, I freaked out over nothing. Dude, that is my life every time. I'm, I have to put a fucking coaster on my power button so that this idiot doesn't turn it off. You guys can't see this right now, but <laughs> Mendez is sitting on... So we, we have Brian's computer in the living room right now <laughs> that has everything hooked up. And then Mendez is just sitting on the top of it right on the <laughs> vent fan. <laughs> <laughs> now she's on the bookshelf. Cats are so curious, man. Dude, cats are hilarious. Fucking dicks. She's huge, actually. Dude, she's a chunky ass cat. She's a big chunk. She's a fat cat. I love her. She's a furball. She is a furball. Just she a is ball. very skinny. Dude, if you get her in a in a bathtub, she looks like like a fucking stick. I kind of hate that we're not sitting yeah. at a table and we're sitting at like on a couch because I always feel like my stomachs is like Dude, I, I feel like I'm such an odd angle for the, like the podcast. Look to your fucking left. Look at this <laughs> I know one. we're all like <laughs> just chubbed out. <laughs> chubbed out. <laughs> oh I feel God. like I like I don't know what to do with my body. I'm like I'm always adjusting my legs here. I shouldn't have had a Red Bull prior to the show. You fucking all jittery. Yeah. So like, just let it happen. Just let the people watch <laughs> the show. That at work. Yeah. Red Bull doesn't work on me at all. <laughs> what you say? Red Bull. I drink it for the flavor. Like, you drink it for the flavor? Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't do anything, dude. Do you? Let no. me tell you the first time I ever had a Red Bull. I literally, I went to Walmart. I'm like, Red Bull, huh? Let me try this. Let me try this. Because in high school, I used to drink Monster. And I'm like, okay, let me, me try Let me try this energy. Yeah. Media, I'm like, ugh. It was, it was like a medicine. What? It's such an acquired taste. Like it, like it, immediately, I thought it was a medicine. I was like, oh, this is God, sc- right. It does taste like a little bit <laughs> And I think... Oh. You never noticed that? No. Yeah. I always hated... Re- I hate... I absolutely despise the flavor of bubble gum. Yeah. Whoever fucking designed that shit is a monster. <laughs> like pink bubble gum? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not gum. good. That's what Red Bull tastes like. Whoever designed that mouthwash. is a fucking freak. Like mouthwash you get from the dentist, like, ooh, you want bubble gum? No. <laughs> I like that <laughs> Disgusting. That, I do not want to rub so bubble gum flavor. That bubble gum flavor mouthwash is some sub level disgusting. Yeah, it's sludge. fucking awful. It is awful. It, uh, you know what else is gross? Pepto Bismo. Yeah. Anything pink, anything pink, <laughs> other than a pink Starbucks is going to taste disgusting. Pepto Bismo sucks, bro. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like. I hope I never get a stomach ache in my life just so I don't have to drink it. I never had it. Pepto Bismo, dude, it's disgusting. It's like a thick pink sludge. <laughs> what do you call it, Jordan? <laughs> what do you call it? Pepto Bismo. <laughs> is that as you say it, right? 
<laughs> How do you say it? How do you say it? <laughs> it's Pepto Bismo. <laughs> No way! This is how I've always said it. There's no freaking way you. Greg, how long have you been saying Pepto Bismol? All my life. All my life. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. It's Pepto Bismol. Bismol. Bismol with an L at the end. Yeah. It's Pepto Bismol. Pepto <laughs> 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 Bismol. Oh my god! You said that with such confidence. Yeah, that's good taste. I, I literally. That's. Wow. Oh. No one corrected you. Cut that out the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> How many years has no one ever <laughs> just told you that? I don't know. No, I've never been corrected. What's some words you can't say? Uh, rural. What are you trying to say? Rural. <laughs> rural. <laughs> hilarious. What, what, are you, what, are you, what is it? R-U-R-A-L. R-U-R-A-L. Rural. R-U-R-A-L. Rural. Like where you're from? Like a uh, rural like area? Rural Virginia. Royal, royal, rural. That's like it's like rural. Rural. Like, like like a dog with peanut butter in its mouth. It's fucking. It's R U R A L. It means rural. like outside of the city, like like way the fuck, like a farm, like country. Yeah, like are country. You, are you gonna say aluminum? Al- aluminum? aluminum. Yeah. Are you? I don't think you still that. can. Huh? I don't think you still can. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Aluminum. No, Al- alumin- aluminum. Aluminum. I used to say aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Yeah, aluminium. That's a British way to say it. People give me a lot of shit for it. Dude, you see me a British TikTok, and it took me 20 minutes to figure out what the joke was. <laughs> I was like, because they were saying some other, like, mumbo jumbo, I didn't understand. <laughs> and, then, and then I understood what he was talking about. I'm like, oh, it, it's funny. I was like, it just took me a minute. Or oh, British TikTok. Itting it. Itting it. <laughs> it. it, it bl- That's it's one sausage. of my favorite pastimes on Twitter is making fun it's of the British. Them it's, red coats. It's sh- <laughs> The red coats are coming. The British people are red coats is the funniest. Yeah. Like, we're so angry about it. We're so angry about it for like. You know, they actually get annoyed that we we think they still talk about the same thing. Seventeen hundreds. We need to find it. We need yeah. we need to find the opposite version of this podcast in, yeah, in like the UK the and then start the most beef we can with them. Hey, I'm American. Yeah. Where's my credit card? <laughs> Another video. Yeah. The Asian guy. guy. Uh, the freaking red coats. Dude, you remember that one time that I that I tweeted f- the word favor with an U in it, and you and fucking Colin both called me red coat on Twitter for, <laughs> like, yeah. for like three hours. <laughs> when people put the U in color, like stop it. <laughs> when people put U in color, like enough That's of the that. Right way to write it. No, Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. Cool. Right cool. Right. Cool. We got it. it. We got like a time and what is it? Uh, our time and date is wrong. Yeah, you yeah, makes more sense. It's backwards. Yeah, everything about America. It's trying, backwards. Trying to be different for the sake of it. Yeah, just right. Like the imperial system. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Get, Driving on Get that the... shit out of Get revving on the right side of the road. Yeah. Could yeah. you guys do that? Would it throw you off? It'd probably be jarring. Probably, like, yeah, it'd probably be a, It, it would probably be okay until you try to make a left or right turn. And you're, <sighs> you're like, I got to have the left away. <laughs> I can't have the, you, know, you can't have the right away anymore. <laughs> That's what I hate. I'm like, you don't have the right away out the left of get the fuck out of here get out of my house that's what it's called right yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be called the left away in the UK now, as I was coming here I was thinking about who created roundabouts I don't like those at all dude roundabouts fucking slap I tell you really? what they're, they're I don't like them at all just I, fun fact you, they're ways tell me your I'll joke. tell you what yeah. <laughs> just like Hank Hill joke tell you what no but like if you're from the country roundabouts will confuse the living hell out of you the first time it, I remember the first time I came down here, here. It was, I was driving in the middle of the night and there, I came to a roundabout and I'm like what the hell is this <laughs> Me too. and I was like where did I get how did I get out because I kept driving around in this circle I'm like how do you get off this Dude, ride literally yesterday I saw someone going to roundabout and they turned left instead of right and a car beat like blowing in front of them <laughs> oh my god <laughs> roundabouts are super confusing because they they only put them in cities I almost got in uh, when I first came back down here I saw my first roundabout like what the hell is this is the back road what, what the fuck do you do with this like I didn't know what to do so I, didn't yeah, I had to google it because I didn't you know drive through it I, I had I, <laughs> just fucking you gotta pull over and google it, it. No, I didn't pull over in Google. I I I, I had driving anxiety. <laughs> I didn't pull over in Google. I didn't fucking pull over in Google. It. How'd you pass your I'm driving test? I'm not a test? goddamn animal. <laughs> we never had a roundabout on our test back then. Yeah, they don't show up on test. No. They did mine. They did? Yeah. I thought it was, just, you know, it was funny. There's, well, there's a, when you study the booklet, there's like 150 signs. And you you will get randomly selected on like a couple of them. That's you gotta know. And on mine, the roundabout was one. And I'm like, easy. This is probably what, stupid. What about the roundabout just when I was like came 15. <laughs> Where? Virginia. Virginia. Virginia must be testing some. Because in here, they literally. You have to take two tests. 
Oh, and uh, yeah, so you're very driver's license. So wait, did you guys do driver's ed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you already had your driving experience and stuff. So you didn't have to go take the course. But when I went to the DMV to take my test, you had to take two tests. One is, the first test is a sign test, and it's 10 questions, and you can't miss any of them. That's how I failed the first time. I missed one question, and immediately Dropped it's over. Nine. I kind of... And then on the second test, it's 25 questions, and then you can miss up to, like, a few. Yeah. What are we going to say? I, that's a great point, because we... Where did I take the sign test at? You took it at the DMV, in it, didn't you? I don't you know. You should have took it on a computer. It's like well, a, I took a computer test, too. Yeah. But I don't remember taking two tests. I know I failed a test, though, but it wasn't two But tests. you took it in North Carolina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's some Virginia shit, probably. And you took yours in... I took, I took mine in North Carolina, The too. question that fucked me up was the pit chains on tires. You, you heard that question? Oh, before? yeah, yeah. That's in snow. Then it, like... The what? Yeah. It's only in snow. Like, when you're in snow areas, you uh, you have to put chains on your tires. It, no uh, one does to make that. traction. Yeah, yeah, no one absolutely. It never slow. It, to go, it like, go up, like, here. hills. And, well, I could grew up on a big-ass hill. Yeah. And when it snowed, there was no, you had to park at the bottom walk up. There was no freaking way. Because the yeah, incline, slide. when you're inclined, you... You just start sliding. With a four-wheel drive it. You don't got it. I, not in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Most people have trucks for that very purpose is just to get up hills like that. Forget, you're, yes. you're smart yes. in the weirdest of ways. I can never pinpoint your type of intelligence. <laughs> it's kind of you know? kind of all over the place. <laughs> it's like not even a, it's it's like like you know shit. Like like I'm a dumb smart guy. <laughs> yeah, like like a normal conversation, you sound fucking stupid a lot of the time. <laughs> but then you come up with some shit and you're just like, oh, damn, Crockett actually knows this shit. Like when I, like, I don't know, I just, you fucking <laughs> confusing country bumpkin that like suddenly. <laughs> Dude, country people are smart, <laughs> but they just don't sound smart. It's a misconception. They smart. No, I know country people very smart. smart country people. Yeah, yeah. but you specifically, you They're, specifically, because you say some out-of-pocket shit yeah, all the time. It's funny. And you just sound dumb. And then you come out and then you drop some knowledge on me. And I'm just like, damn, I forget my boy kind of smart. <laughs> just, I appreciate There's it. There's a guy at my hilarious. job that understands my like country nature because he's from that area. Yeah. Yeah. And we were talking like no one like the heck we talking about. I was, about. I was just, <laughs> I was literally just talking about this yeah. uh, on Discord two days ago. That's how me and that's how I feel when I talk to Adriana about Puerto Rico. Oh yeah. yeah you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kindred spirits. Um, about the fried bologna mm. thing. <laughs> Like how people don't understand eating like a fried bologna yeah. with some mustard is like some next level. Thing. That's next really? level lunch. With mustard? Yeah, it's a fried bologna yeah. sandwich. With bottled no, water. The, the, the bologna is fine. Yeah. It's the such mustard. a geographic, like you have to be living in this certain area to understand what this cultural food is. Like, <laughs> that is white people <laughs> culture. <laughs> the dude said, shout out to V because he listened to this podcast. But he uh, he said something very specific. I like Paul. Like, Wait, you know that word? You're like what? He said hompons. Hompons. Yeah, that's what we say now. <laughs> Sit your hompons down. What the fuck is it's that? It's your ass or butt. That's what old people hom-pons? say. You never heard of that? <laughs> I think it's the first time I've ever heard that. of it. Or uh, he said uh, chicken and pastry. And I understood what that, or salad. So when I say salad, what do you think of? I know that you're going to say the, the shit where you put mayonnaise on something no. and call it a salad. No. no. What do you think a salad is? Like greens and. So it's like a, it's mustard greens, but where we're down, where we come from, we call it salad. Like collard greens? Yeah, it's like it's like collard greens. And he like, like boiled collard greens? Yeah, because I instantly knew what he talked about. It's not collard greens, it's mustard. Apparently, I didn't know there was mustard greens until yeah. he told me. I always called it salad growing up. Damn. Yeah. Or, or he... Uh, Is that why you don't like salads? Like actual salads? I eat the mustard green salad. It's really mm-hmm. mustard greens, but it's called salad. That's the only salad I eat. <laughs> not that fucking leaf shit you guys eat. <laughs> I hate when he says that. He's like, it's a leaf shit. Dude, eat a salad, man. I do. Your organs probably look like black. They're probably just black and gray. I'm a demon. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he understands what I be saying sometimes, too, or the stuff he... Like, he be saying stuff like... He knew that the news station I grew up watching and the shows his that family watched. K1X7? No, nah, that... Uh, <laughs> Fox News the, 5. The, you're young and restless and all that stuff. Or bored and beautiful and you're speaking and light. Chinese to me. Yeah. No it's idea. so the your, combination your of this podcast it. is so funny because it's two country boys and then one Puerto Rican guy. <laughs> yeah, one island and two island. country boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I wonder like if we had not met in art school, would we have been friends? Because we outside had, of school. Outside of school. Because we have no nothing in common apart from the fact that we both like art. Like we like when we met. Like anime. Yeah. But when we met, the only thing that we had in common was like we go to the same school and we like the same weep shit. 
Yeah. And we want to make movies or like TV shows or whatever the fuck. I don't remember meeting you. I don't remember meeting you either. Yeah, it's like you just there. <laughs> yeah. Same. I I don't remember. <laughs> How yeah. the fuck did we meet? I had no idea. Probably probably just hanging out in the Probably in 2017, yeah. yeah. You were at the lab, right? I worked at, I worked right across the lab, yeah. And I Oh, would, yeah, at the cage. That's probably why I knew yeah, you. And from. I would constantly sneak into the lounge cuz that job was boring as fuck. But I didn't Okay, now I remember. You used to walk in a lot in Yeah, I used to walk in a lot and I used to talk shit with Shaw a lot. But I don't I don't remember I don't remember ever having a conversation with yeah, you. Exactly. I just remember being friends with you. Yeah. I don't know what our first conversation <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't yeah. remember the first conversation was like, either. You've just been in my life yeah, for a lot of amount of time. <laughs> you've just been. Yeah. You've always existed for some reason. <laughs> Same with you. I also don't. Remember. I, I remember. I remember the first time uh, we ever because we we, we had a project together, and I remember it vividly because like I was alone. Everyone had a partner. This is the like my first year. I'm sitting there in a computer lab <laughs> by myself. Like Everyone's movie. supposed to have like partners, <laughs> and you come in late, and you're like, "Hey, what's up, man? I guess if we're gonna be partners, I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And then it sounds you, like we, a movie. Yeah. It's literally like I remember you walking in, you were like <sighs> Sounds like by the sounds like by the end of that class we should have fallen in love. Yeah, yeah we were. <laughs> have you ever like look at moments like that and think about in the future, like where you're at now? Like I do, I do now because like I yeah, for both yeah. of you, I both remember when I first saw you guys in person, <laughs> which is weird. Because now I have such a a strong standing friendship with y'all. <laughs> that is it's funny that I remember the very first time we met and then I can't remember anything in between and yeah. now I'm up to this point. We just have like so much history at this point that it's like I can I re- I generally the the first memory, like active memory that I have of you, Tay, and AI is when you graduated. Wow. And, and then, and not like I forgot about it, but yeah. like the one that stands out to me is when you graduated and it was your last day of class and you were walking in the hallway and said, oh, I'll see you later, Tay. And you fucking twisted your hat and then the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air spin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I right. me. and I never saw you again <laughs> until 2020. Really? I did not see you again until we started doing the podcast after that moment. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. That was my last memory of you for two and a half years. Oh, that's a good thing I did there. Like, yeah, the it was fucking breath. awesome. <laughs> it's what he does at the end of the show, I believe. Yeah, it does. It and is. then he does that at the end of the Do show. Do you remember, have you ever seen the SpongeBob movie? Yeah. Do you know, you know the two country guys <laughs> that at the ga- gas station, they go, well, it'll be mustard or ketchup, and they slap their knees? Yeah. One time, me and Tay. Is it Rachel? We, we, dude, we, me and Tay used to walk down the halls at school, and we used to do that. And we hit one on sync one time and perfectly. Died laughing. And literally we murdered Rachel. She was laughing so hard. She, she just saw us do it, and it was the funniest thing she ever saw. Like, you guys are weirdly in sync. We're chaos. Things. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're light and dark. <laughs> it was me, you, and Kazari, yeah, 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 the boys. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. What'd you say? First time I met Kazari, I remember he was at the, the what was it, the game club we had? The Magic, the the magic Club. club. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I went in there for, I think it was the first time you guys did it. Or one of the early times we did it. I saw Kazari had like braids. Oh, yeah, he did have like a, like a little bit of braids. And I saw him walk by. That's the first time I saw him. <laughs> That's so funny. Kazari, <laughs> yeah. Kazari has the energy of a cat. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got very feline energy. He has a he if he, if this was an RPG, he'd be like the assassin class. Absolutely, yeah. No, he'd be like a mage be, or something. <laughs> no, he'd be an archer. He'd be an archer. Or an ar- yeah, class. that would be yeah. good. Like a yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he would be an archer. archer. Playing D and D with the boys. He, he's like the like he would have like the glasses and he would. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he like, he's like very intelligent. He was Ignis. <laughs> he was Ignis. <laughs> out of like yeah, out of like Final Fantasy yeah. 15, he would be Ignis. He would be Ignis. He would We're doing a lot of like we. Yeah. He Jer- would definitely be Gladiola. Who? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. they said that too. Like, it's like yeah. <laughs> same that was himbo energy. <laughs> I do have big himbo energy. Big himbo. Fucking I. Uh, this is a reminisce podcast. Yeah, for sure. Just, we're catching up, man. It's been two it's weeks. Two weeks. weeks. It's been two weeks. I was in that fucking job. Yeah, you're working. you're out here making making TV shows. Making yeah, I work on a TV show called Military Makeover with Montel Williams. Really? Yeah. You saw him? Yeah, I did. Mm. He's he's What's I won't say I wouldn't give my opinion on the show. What is <laughs> who's Montel Williams? So the guy to do uh the Mark. No. He was a he was a talk show host yeah. for like thirty years. I've heard the name, but You've I can't seen him I'm trying to What was this show though? What's it? This show is called Military Makeover. What's the show he did in 2000? It was like the Mari show, but it wasn't. It was a talk show like it was a that. Talk show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like he would bring like people in the bald head. Like, but it yeah. wasn't very good, right? No, it it was a it was a like people see him, they know is who he, he is. He's a black guy? Yeah. yeah. He like, has a very does he have a very thin mustache? He has like a thin goatee. To. Yeah, he still has a goatee. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, what the hell did he do? Montel looks old as fuck now, right? Oh, really? 
Yeah, he looks he looks like he's been aging. I seen him growing up before. It's yeah, look him shows. up. Look him yeah. up. You'll find him. Uh, but yeah, I work on a show called Military Makeover for two weeks. I was there for twelve days. And you're a PA. Uh, being a being a production assistant. Let me tell you something. Production assistants are fucking. They're the slaves of the film world. I just want to imagine like you're you're doing coffee runs. That was I'm doing I'm doing food runs. I'm doing coffee runs. I'm lifting equipment. I we had to we got there almost every morning at six thirty in the fucking morning. Ooh. He's sixty five now. Jesus, damn. This is a Monte Williams show. You watched this show before growing up. You probably probably yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably your grandma was watching at some yeah, point. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, fucking. We used to get there at six thirty in the morning every day, and then we used to set up. We had to set up three tents, like three big like. Like exterior tents and like six tables and like 30 chairs every day and then stand there for 12 hours and just lift heavy shit. And then after the 12 hours were done, just take all that shit down, put it back in the U-Haul, go home, wake up the next day. And show up at six fucking thirty a.m. I could see you now. And do it all over. You're wearing again. your Tims, your jean shorts. <laughs> you have your bandana on. And you <laughs> I look like David Foster Wallace walking yeah. into the fucking set. <laughs> so it says the Montel show focuses on inspirational stories and less controversial subjects. So it's like the Jerry Springer show, or like uh, more wholesome Jerry Springer. It's like a more. And Montel uh, Williams was the host. It's like a, a male Wendy Williams, but less. Dude, uh, Wendy Williams dude. is a huge asshole. You know that? Yeah. It, uh, what's his name? Hates her. Jo- what's his name? Um, Joe Rogan. No, it's a judge. Uh, what's the black judge name? Uh, fuck. Judge Brown? Yeah. Oh, shit. He fucking hates Wendy Williams for passion. <laughs> judge Joe Brown? <laughs> Why? That's yeah. so weird. That's yeah. such an they, odd they hate. hate it. it's, like, it's like Judge Trump Joe and, Brown. Uh, like Trump and the other lady. You know how they hate each other's guts? Trump yeah. And who? Trump oh, and uh, yeah. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like Dude, that. honestly, honestly. He hates her. Like hey, <laughs> what a flex. When he became president. Yeah. And just what a, do you say? That's a... Dude, <laughs> over over like Rosie O'Donnell, I was just thinking when he got elected, I was like, "Holy shit, he crushed Rosie O'Donnell." Yeah, that's a big win of finger. Like, yeah. I was like, "I'm your president." Me, <laughs> they each other's me, guts. baby. Why do they hate each other? What's the story? I, I don't know. It, I think because he was a businessman. I think Rosie O'Donnell was like a like advocate. They hate each other for years. Like. This is like some stuff from like. The nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, it, it, you've never heard of this. Like, this is like legendary. Dude, this is WWE. This, this, oh this is God. legendary beef. <laughs> it, was, it was so controversial and big. They made a WWE beef. parody of it. Really? Yeah, and Rosa Donna came on the show. It, it was. Trump was well, I guess it's. A, I guess it's a very American thing. Yeah. True story. The, my, my, Wait, who is Rosie O'Donnell? Rosie O'Donnell. She's some. She's a comedian. Was she? Is she, is she, is she I, well, I was think. She in the, well, she was on Curb. I remember her. I, I just assumed she, because I never really knew what she did either. Me, that's the. But know I just she, really. assumed, so she wasn't in that show with John Goodman, right? That wasn't her. No, right? that's uh, Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> she's hella racist. Yeah, I, she is. I was so sad. She popped the that. N-word a couple times. Yeah, she, she's hard. mean. As fuck. She has a brain. She's she mean. Brain injuries, right? She I got hit by the, a car. I wonder if the brain injury made her racist. No, Could you imagine being like a non-problematic <laughs> white person getting hit by a car and then say the N-word on your way back to the hospital? Didn't that happen to Uncle Ruckus? Like, he got, like, he thought he was born white yeah. on the boondocks. It was a skin disorder or whatever. Yeah, yeah he's like, I have, I have a skin disorder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, uh, Dude, oh, this yeah, is... like, Trump. My, my, my memory from Trump is really funny. Yeah. Because I knew him from WWE when he appeared up there. <laughs> that's, fu- that's right. Then yeah. years later, this man's president. That's such a, that's <laughs> yeah. such an American thing. He's like, yeah, Donald Trump, the wrestler, right? <laughs> yeah. And, like, at the time he was going to president, I didn't understand what Trump did. You guys have, like, have you guys seen uh, yeah. Idiocracy, right? Yeah, that sounds familiar. We, I, I heard someone say one day, I forget who said this, but they said like I think Dwayne the Rock Johnson should be president, and it just it just immediately made my brain go. He probably could do it, and we literally would be living in Idiocracy <laughs> by then. Yeah. He he announced that, didn't he? No, he didn't. No, no, that was way. fake. I remember I that story. That, that, that was, that was real. Fake. Yeah, that was fake. People, people yeah. say they're gonna run for president just for publicity. No, they Trump proves you anyone, anyone can be a president. I can be president. If I it's a popularity contest. Oh, yeah, con- yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but it's, John F. Kennedy proved that when him and Nixon went because uh, when John F. Kennedy and Nixon were running for president, Kennedy it was, was the mob. first. <laughs> it was the first. Um, what moonshine? It was the first. Uh, president it was the first like election that was like getting televised like yeah. the, their debates and uh nixon looked like shit oh, and wow. it, it actually had a huge effect on like was he a tv star or something a movie star john that f. was kennedy? reagan 
Reagan, Reagan was, was a, yeah. Reagan yeah. was a movie star, yeah. Uh, it had a huge effect on the polls, and he ended up winning. That's uh, awful. Kennedy was top the mob. Really? Yeah, they, yeah, they grew up from moonshine and shit. Damn. Yeah. That's good. That's kind of gangster. Literally. Yeah. Have you guys ever had moonshine? No. No. Yeah. You're going to hook us up? I think I I don't think I'm the same person anymore yeah. after I had moonshine. Is moonshine still illegal? Yes. Yeah. Why is it well, still they illegal? have like legal moonshine. They have like the, the, what is it? Gettysburg. Is it? Or not Gettysburg. But Gettysburg the- battle. <laughs> From the 1778 or whatever. <laughs> oh, let me the tell you. Address. So yeah. let me tell you where I was at last night. So yeah. I went to a comedy show in a movie theater. Or it was a play theater. Nice. And it looked like where Lincoln, Lincoln got Lincoln. assassinated. Yikes. <laughs> so as soon as the comedian came on, I saw Theo Vaughn. As soon as he came out, he's like, welcome to the, the John Wilkes Booth Theater. <laughs> Did you laugh a lot? I never been to a comedy thing. That like was that. the first time I ever been to one. It was pretty sweet. Uh, there was like three opening acts. Uh, I think the first, the first person was definitely from. Sh- well, they were local. I don't think they're yeah. from Charlotte, but uh, the other two people, the middle guy wasn't that great, but the last uh, his opener, I guess technically his opener, mm-hmm. he was pretty good. And then Theo Vaughn did. It was a pretty good show. That's awesome. Uh, I love I have comedy a, shows. I have a funny story about what happened though. Um, I got smashed. <laughs> I got derangedly smashed. Did you drink there? Yeah. So, uh, have you guys ever been to a play, like a theater play? What was the name of the place? As a kid, yeah. I forget the Belk Theater. Okay. Yeah. I thought um, it was the Bojangles Theater or something. I I thought That's it was gonna. I, I swear, I thought the tickets said the Bojangles Theater, mm-hmm. and it like it. Uh, I swear, when I bought the tickets, because I, I bought them like a month in, months in advance. And when I looked at him, I'm like, oh, shit. Good thing I didn't, like, type that into my GPS. I checked the tickets. It said Belk Theater. Oh. And it was in Uptown. But I go there, and then uh, they have concessions. So you have, like, wine and beer and liquor. Mm-hmm. You, and it, you, So me and Adriana, we get there an hour early, and we just get a couple of drinks. And then um, about, like, four, uh, about 20 minutes before the show start, we're sitting outside. We can go in if we want, but, like, that we hear, like, someone on the mic talking yeah. and people cheering. So we're like, okay, well, we can probably go ahead and go in and um, they're probably going to start soon. So we go in and the dude, the theater, these, these seats are, I'm not, I'm not kidding. They're like this big. Oh my God. Thanks. And then every seat is too like, th- they're right next to each other. Yeah. I'm too thick for that. And then the space between this seat and that seat, I'm on this balcony on yeah. the second row. It's like this. It's like, if you put the table about right here, this awful. is how much room I had. So when you got up to leave, you were doing this. You're like, <laughs> and I mean, people had to stand up for you to get by. That's There's awful. or it's like that, or you're going to fall. Like that is awful. Um, Anyway, we so we, we have our drinks and we take them in and then we're, we get in there and we realize, there, oh, there's no cup holders or anything like that. And we're like, oh, yeah, this I guess it's because it's a play theater. So we sit there, and then, like, about five minutes before the show starts, I'm like, well, I got, I'm got i going to get one more round. I'm going to just bring them back. And then Adrian was, was, like, sitting there. So I go wait in line. It's, like, 8 o'clock now. The show is about to start. And uh, I wait through a long line, get my drinks, have I have a cup of wine and a beer in my hand, and I'm walking up into this big line of people, and everyone has drinks in their hands. And the, the ushers, like, just looks at everyone and is like, uh, no drinks allowed in the theater. Oh, and me and Adriana both took drinks in yeah. when before like everyone started piling in. So they didn't say anything then. But then now I had the show's about to start. I have two drinks. I have a cup of wine and a beer in my hand. And then there's like the, there's a couple of people. There's a, like a everyone just like moves to the left. Yeah. And I just like turn around to this other couple. And I go, cheers. And I just start, dra- I, just, I drain <laughs> both of these drinks. I'm like, I'm not going to throw it away because I just spent $20 on, on like drinks. two drinks. Poor Adriana, she didn't get her wine. The, the people the people I was drinking with, they're like, bro, she's not going to believe when you go back in there. <laughs> she's not going to believe that you can bring a drink in. <laughs> so I, I smash my beer in her drink in literally under a minute. I was pretty impressed. <laughs> The people, the people I was drinking with, they they probably had to assume I was an alcoholic. So yeah, beer and wine mixed. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what like, Adriana said. She was like, "You're probably gonna get sick." I was fine. I'm apparently I'm built like a tank because I was fine. <laughs> it's just all this liquor you've been drinking. Uh, and then so I get into theater and stuff. And, comfy. Yeah, <laughs> I told you I'm gonna shift around like six times because I'm around this couch. Uh, uh, I get in there. Um, <laughs> so 
the show starts, it goes through and stuff. And then, dude, go in the bathroom. So I'm dead set in the middle. I got mm -hmm. middle seats up on this balcony. And there's like 20 seats in between. And uh, like they're small. So when you, dude, I, it, I was in the trenches. Myself. I, I was in the freaking trenches trying to leave. <laughs> I had to get up and twi piss twice. You have a little baby bladder too. Yeah. yeah. So I, dude, I was, dude, it was a struggle. And there was a guy sitting next to me and he would get up too. And every time he come back, I'd give him like, I'd slap him five dab him up? And, and I'd dab him up. And then I'd go trench brothers. I can't do all night. I kept saying, what's up trench brother. We make it <laughs> <laughs> going through the trenches out here. Did he have any idea what you Dude, were he thought, it was, he, nah. he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. <laughs> this guy put like, on moving you at all. <laughs> I was like, I was a complete stranger. I just kept going to the trench, brother. <laughs> so, brother, we in the trenches. But it was great. We had a good time. The, the show was great. So, yeah. That was, yeah man. that was my night last night. I woke up this morning. Felt awful. <laughs> I haven't been in a, to a comedy show in ages. Never been to one. Yeah, they're fun. They're great. I know Mike Cups come to Charlotte all the time, apparently. He My guess. Yeah, he goes to the. the that's how I thought you went to Bojangles Stadium. That's where he goes at a lot. I just realized. I know. I think I know that I press record on the camera, but I have this fleeting panic that I didn't. It's red. It's recording. Yeah, that, that's, that's, I'm looking at her and it's just like, is that what the light means? The anxiety that just flowed through my <laughs> body. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? I cannot, that? Tell, I cannot tell you the amount of adrenaline that is rushing through me right now. Go check. That was that, awful. Yeah. This, this has happened so many times to me and Tay when we've done a Discord show yeah. where one of us looks at it and like, did it record? <laughs> what? Yeah, it recorded. It recorded. Yeah. They called you in that thing too. <laughs> just, he he popped his thing. light. <laughs> Like, That's like a sun. It's li literally a man-made sun. Oh, dude, it's so good. The power of sun. Such a good little light. And above on my hands. What is fucking uh, Spider-Man yeah, 2, yeah, bro? Spider-Man 2. Yeah, I cannot tell you how I looked at my camera and I did not remember pressing the record button. And my whole, like, you know you that get, moment where, like, you're, you just feel everything drop? You get that cold sweat. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I... You can feel, like, a bead of sweat going from <laughs> your, <laughs> your shoulder blade to your back. Yeah, but Jordan said, like, we... we, we We'd be like recording for like seven minutes. And like, fuck, it's not recording. Yeah, God. I yeah, start all over with the fake energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the worst part is trying to get that energy back up. Yeah. yeah. Because like it, it's it's not been long enough to where it's like, just don't, just trash the whole episode. Yeah, so you have but to you, keep recording. But it's seven minutes is an eternity for podcasts. I still hate we didn't get the PS5 footage you got. That was been great footage. We've told yeah, that story, like, right? Yeah, we told it plenty of times. About but. how, so... I pre order so you guys know how hard how, it is to get a PS5. I love how we ask you if you've told the story, you say yes, and then he proceeds <laughs> to tell the story. story. Yeah. 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 You're you've already right? told yeah, the yes, story. Yes. But I'll tell it again. <laughs> I'll give you the 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 cliff notes. Yeah. Is it footnotes or cliff notes? Cliff notes. Footnotes. Cliff notes. I'll give you the clip notes. The cl cliff. Cliff. <laughs> the anyway, I pre ordered a PS5 <laughs> and we got my live reaction of actually getting into the PS5 beta. Or not the beta, but the the pre order. The, the pre order. Yeah. Crown yeah. is like Best Buy lines. A couple of days. Well, they ago. they restocked. I checked it literally the day before they restocked, not knowing that they were gonna restock, and then uh, check back again and they're fucking gone. It's gonna be last of twenty twenty three. You had to fight to get into this like console. I was lucky as hell. Yeah. How did you? Yeah, you've told the story before. Yeah, it matter. Before, yeah. Matter. You had. I mean, you just had to sit there and refresh a page. Constantly, it was my time my feet too. And I bought. I literally got the last PS5 Did you literally at Target. Like, like click it from. I was about Twitter? to get on my computer that night. I'm like, you know what? I'm a guy went back to my Twitter home screen, mm -hmm. and I saw what was it, Wario 64. Put a link. That's the one I got. Hello. I did the exact same thing like when he did the Target link, dude. Wario 64 secured them PS5s. Fuck yeah. Who's that dude. Wario that dude. I think that guy might be a computer or something. Wario I, he, Lightning Quick. And the other guy, it's three dudes in the same spectrum. I want to. I don't know who they are, but they 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 post deals and shit all the time. They might be bots, yeah. Like no, they, like they real people. They just don't really? know who. They, like, there's a, his War sixty four is pinned tweet for years. Like, the real War sixty four guy. Mm -hmm. He the one that made Street Fighter, Street Fighter, right? Yoshi guy. I have no idea who his. He's, he made a video was. on Twitter like War sixty four. I know who you are. <laughs> he's making fun of the user. Fuck. You don't know who this user is. He just he just went he's went by this for like so ever. Many years. Talking yeah. about Wario, so do you guys hear the fucking movie casting for the Mario movie? Yes. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Fucking me. Mario. <laughs> Ice Cube is Yoshi. Ice Cube is You see my Yoshi. tweet, didn't you? Oh, I, did. I did see that, yeah. Pinky as Rosalina. I was actual casting for a second. I was about <laughs> yeah. to lose my shit. <laughs> 
It's always do that. It's always funny who when people know who Pinky is. Everyone knows who Pinky is. I don't know who Pinky is. Good thing. Really? Yeah, I don't know who Pinky is. Who's Pinky? She's like the most famous black porn star. Really? Sorry. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom is a cruel mistress. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be the first time <laughs> in our entire run since 2020 where I had to bleep Tay out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Out. <laughs> she, she she put it, cut to a black screen, yeah. but like. Surprisingly, Tay said something bad. Yeah. <laughs> I got to cut out fucking now, Tay. Pink is the go-to black porn star for the black community. All right. <laughs> porn star for the black community. Yeah. Copy. She's dot com. What was this podcast even about? I have no ca- This call it ketchup or something. Dude, yeah. Catch- we, it, it really has. I've, I miss you guys. I missed you guys for like two weeks. <laughs> this is the vibe. Yeah. For like every Saturday when I was in that job. Oh, yeah. I was talking about my fucking job with Monto and Williams. And then we just devolved into Pinky. So you did still see him, right? Monto Williams. Yeah, I did see him. He was... Uh, was he he the was there for the last day. Last day. It was like his host, his co-host did everything. And then he showed up the last day and shot a couple of interviews. Can you talk about what the show's about? Was still in. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a. It's hey, Brian's what? like, yeah, yeah, I can. And then it, he could. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's on post. I get sniped. <laughs> hmm. no, yeah, but he was, was in the a, military. It was uh really, he was? Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. It's just like a, a, they renovate a veteran's house. Like they tell a story for a veteran. And then they go like, if they, hey, bud. If they like find the story interesting, then they accept your application and then they renovate your house with like a fucking interior designer. They do like exterior painting and what's that channel? I need like, to submit it's like a Hallmark channel. It's like Lifetime. I need to submit it. I was in the trenches last night, bro. <laughs> it's fighting for my life. What's, that, what's that channel? They, <laughs> they make they build houses and stuff. Is it House Mark? Uh, that's HGTV. Dude, yeah, the older you get, yeah. the more you watch. No, it's HGTV. on Lifetime TV actually. Lifetime. Um, hey bud, it's on. Welcome. Hey all done. Um, yeah, it's on Lifetime TV. It's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting show. Lifetime movies are all the same. Yeah, they are, and some of them, some of them are really fucking good, and I hate that they are. <laughs> they getting old, bro. You don't say that, dude. It's them, always about the wife and the husband's the bad guy. They <laughs> all the fucking same, <laughs> isn't it? Or about a busy woman yeah. that can't take a vacation. And then she meets some farm guy that teaches her how to be. Oh yeah, she moves to a farm. The business lady moves. To, that was a, the plot for like Medea's like. No, Medea's the Christmas or something. Is like the dark skin man is the evil bad guy. <laughs> Dude, and the light skin man is the savior. <laughs> I, when I rewatch Medea's, uh, or um, it's not Medea. It's a uh, Diary of Mad Black Woman. That's literally yeah. a plot that's of Diary of Mad film. Black Woman. <laughs> that's, that's his first film. That's the only good one. He used to be plays prior. Who was My dip, uh, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. He used to say that's only good one. But that was his first film. And that's the only good one he did. Everything Damn. else went downhill. Yeah, yeah, it was so funny. She put, she was in that wheelchair and she like, <laughs> push, pushes him out. She hated him. She hated him because he was dark skinned. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. The light skinned. Colorism the movie. Come save Tyler Perry tripping. <laughs> I mean, he was like an abusive guy though. He, I mean, he had it coming. He had a bald head, right? That's the movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's the movie. Yeah. And she said, rip it. I always remember it was a it was so funny as a kid. Um, Medea, because Medea's in the movie, but she, it's like a side role, mm-hmm. and she was like she goes into his house like after they like they was going to get divorced. He's like, well, we're gonna split everything, and she takes like a chainsaw and like chainsaws yeah. in the middle of the house, ha- like oh, couch. She's like half of yours, half is it. Medea's like a cinematic universe. Yeah, all these films. She is the Marvel verse. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> shut up. She's a Marvel versus black for black into, <laughs> into the Medea verse. Like she's somehow related to these people in these films. That's fucking. Insane. And they put her in like it'd be like a very serious movie, and she's in it. And Dude, they're, they're, that's what that's the most frustrating yeah. part. They're always Medea movies get marketed just as like oh it's just Medea, yeah. and then I remember going to oh Medea goes to jail. I remember like I seen oh, that in theaters. I literally saw the trailer and I was like oh yeah it's gonna be funny. So I go to theater. And the first thing, like, on screen is, like, th- it's, like, the woman's, like, a prostitute, and she's, like, on drugs, and yeah. she's, like, in oh the God. scene. And I'm, like, did I walk into the wrong movie? I literally thought I walked yeah, into the wrong it's movie. It's, like, she's in these movies, but the whole entire movie itself is, like, some, like, It's it's like It's a drama, and yeah. you think it's a, they get marketed. I really did think that they were all parodies. No. Like, no, they were all, like, the, you think, yeah, you think they're, com- they get marketed as comedies. It's such a big flip, and it is a super... It's then it's like some serious drama, and you're like, That's what I said. It's like a Medea f- universe. Like, her movies are comedies. Medea's do this. Yeah. That's a comedy. But they'd be like, Diary of Mad Woman. That's not about her, but yeah. she's in that film as the same character. Well, no, Medea goes yeah. to jail. The I wouldn't even say the plot. It's just Medea. It's so bizarre because, like, it, like anytime Medea. I forgot. It's she, like, 
does something. The only thing I remember is the highway scene. I remember that. That's it. But like, um, it's like two different films. The there's like, there's Medea is like a sub character. There's like a main character in her problems. She just knows kind of Medea, like, but and then and then related. anytime yeah. it's like a su- side story in like a TV show. Is Medea like a black fairy godmother, like fucking offering advice? And yeah, that's what she she is kinda, like. Yeah. In the movie, she's trying to like brace like be harsh to this dude or something like that. Interesting. Because the, the wife is like really kind, and sweetheart, and she's like trying to persuade Medea, trying to persuade her to be like more aggressive to the man and leave the man. And all that Maybe we should do a, Med- a Medea. Medea. Watch. I am absolutely not. <laughs> No, <laughs> dude, I, me and Viren see, Maria, deep vibe. Me and Viren see the Halloween movie. Dude, uh, I worked at AMC. I worked yeah. at the theater when that movie came out. That was absolutely the most dreadful night I As ever had. As a kid, I never liked Tyler Perry movies. That theater yeah. was so packed. It's garbage. Yeah, yeah, garbage fucking movies. movies. I, I yeah. watched. I nobody laughed on their way out of that movie. It's not. It's stupid fun. It, I'm, I'm a stupid person when I laugh at shit. Yeah. <laughs> when I, when I'm like like. Like this and the theater's like this, I don't want to leave. I want to leave because this shit's corny. <laughs> That's how bad it is. It's like who, who's laughing at this shit? And I like stupid stuff. <laughs> who's laughing at this? <laughs> Tay stands up in the middle of it. Who's laughing at this? <laughs> like, <laughs> the the like, am I supposed to laugh at this scene or what? Is this comedy? That's how I feel about a lot of the Will Ferrell movies. Yeah, he's not funny either. Yeah, he know. used to be funny. He's got some slaps. Never been funny. He's got some slaps. Elf. That's it. Talaga Nights is pretty good. I see people praise this movie. I'm like, used to be hilarious. Talaga Nights. Where are you from? It makes sense. Yeah, it does. We loved it. The only funny thing is that don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. That's the only. Oh, we have two. Oh, we have a beautiful son, and God takes his legs. That's not funny. But you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. You put that on when me. When he said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that dude is, I miss that guy. RIP uh, to uh, I actually mentioned him the other day. Who? That's the guy from uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Green, yeah, Green, the Green Mile Green guy. Mile. The big oh, black guy. Yeah, he, he was in Talladega Nights. Yeah. Yeah, great Kingpin. Yeah, yeah, he was Nailed a great it. Kingpin. Dude, yeah. I Jesus Christ, the flashback that you just gave me. Yeah, he was Kingpin. Uh, from the Daredevil movie, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> ben Affleck. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that was Ben Affleck. Remember the Electric movie? Electro yeah, movie? the Electro. I kind of, I, I highly like the Electro movie. Stop it. It's, man, What's I got a Golden Corral. Leave me alone. There was two movies. It was Electra <laughs> and then there was... A, Catwoman. No, not Catwoman. Catwoman was a sexual awakening for a lot of people. <laughs> what? Yeah, Catwoman was a... If you were a woman in like the early 2000s and you watch Catwoman, there's a good chance that you walked out bisexual movie after watching that movie. destroy her character completely. Good lord. They yeah, yeah but that was hard to watch as a comic book fan. Yeah. The early 2000s comic phase was really interesting. Blaze the Ultraviolet. That's what, that's what movie I was talking about. You it's always saw yeah. Ultraviolet and Electra always bundled you know, together Ultraviolet is, at the dollar store. <laughs> that's that a was, sci-fi movie right those there. Movies, I don't know why those movies are connected, but they were always bundled together. It's just like so Black Widow without being Black Widow, right? Yeah, I guess. I never it watched was, any of them. Ultraviolet, Ultraviolet had, like, it was a very bizarre... I remember the marketing for this movie. It like a very like bizarre color schemes it was like, for like the scenes. I remember right? the marketing for white it. and purple, right? Yeah. It was white, yeah, all white, with, and then she was like always dressed in black or something. And like she that. wore white, right? I don't remember. I, I just remember the logo. Ultra like violet. Like, ultra violet like, so like, bad. Like, <laughs> that's like that. It's like Jason X. Like who the hell remembers Jason <laughs> X? <laughs> or the condemned. <laughs> <laughs> the Condemned, yeah. Wrestling movies, like the that John Cena film. Yeah. The Marine. The Marine. <laughs> Dude, what, whatever happens to these films? Like, there's like, why do, it's, it's when a wrestler gets to their height of the career, they, they will start, yeah, they will start starring in just action films. Yeah, the T-Stand Condemned. Rock, it will. Uh, Fucking the Marine. The Rock, John Cena. Who else? Batista. Batista. But of all Bautista. of them, Batista took it seriously. Like he went yeah, to like class was and shit. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I remember watching an interview John with Cena him. John Cena is also, also really good, but he started off as not being great. Yeah. I remember watching an interview with Batista, and he said when he got the Guardians of the Galaxy role, he said it really changed. Like, it helped him. Yeah. Like, he said he was like, he, he, he was, was like having broke. a- broke. Yeah, yeah. He, he had no That's money. Right. He was like, yeah. failing, having a failing career and stuff. He's a really good actor. I mean, he was in He's Blade incredible, Runner dude. Blade Runner, he killed it in Blade He's Runner. He's in Doom, too, right? I think so, yeah. He's yeah. in fucking everything. That man is in yeah, he's everything. Yeah, right he had his own solo movie, right? With this... I think he has a younger girl with him. I think it's a solo film with him. Uh, he's he going to be in a comedy. He was in Army of Dead as a main lead with Zack uh, uh, Yeah, that, he was in that movie. Yeah. He was pretty good in that. He was, he was the best part of that movie. Yeah, Bautista kills that's, it. That's bad, then. <laughs> Bautista was the best part of the movie. Dude, Bautista's a... Fit. What do you mean? I mean, like, come on. Uh, who else was the actors in the movie? Oh, the uh, movie's not that great. But. No, the movie's garbage. But <laughs> Zack Snyder. Uh, we talked. We actually. It, yeah, we have an episode about it. Do the little, little thingy. 
Dude, yeah. when we filmed that, I was yeah. I just came from a ten hour shift. God damn. I was so <laughs> tired filming that video. You were. Because <laughs> we did two videos that day too. So I came. I, you were I tired. went. I went at like six a.m. Worked ten hours and then came here and then I left here at like eleven. I got home at midnight. I was drained. Bro. <laughs> Speaking of movies, I went to the movies a lot this year. I'm back. In awesome. my, I'm back on my train again. Get Regal Unlimited. No. Get why not? Too many subscription services, man. Not just fuck. It's fourteen bucks. Yeah, it's like, Dude, fourteen bucks I don't have. Yeah. <laughs> the last movie I saw yeah. before the pandemic was Sonic, and then the first movie that <laughs> I saw was Demon Slayer. <laughs> Demon Slayer. It's so, it's such a bizarre, like weeby, like. Thing going I, back to the theater. I, I seen. I did not pay attention to Sonic. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see it. Yeah, it, it's it, like a. Fu- it's a fun movie. Jim Carrey could probably kill them. that. That movie is going to be very special because that was the first time like, like the community had warped the film where they hated a design and then they made him completely remake. No, I'm, I'm so mad that they fixed it. I would have. Me too. Okay. I, I'm fucking I'm not pissed that they fixed it. No, you're I not. didn't like that at all either. I'm, I, I yeah. want them to fucking stick to yeah, the gun. So you know what? But you it know was what? an ugly character design. No, yeah, but I don't want it. Because it created something where fans can be like change the director's or yeah. crazy vision. Yeah. But you know right. what? Yeah. They're going to keep doing this because now they're getting... If if they would have just let that movie came out and let it just been the garbage fire, it, it would be the same fucking it would, movie. It would it they would have never made a sequel. They would have never had a huge franchise. Crockett. Where they changed it, it was the same movie. Yeah, people just it was the exact same movie. But now, but they when they changed it, it gave a reason for people to fucking go. Ah, I guess that's true. That's nonsense though. Like, but like, like, but now look, they're making a sequel. They're probably gonna make three more films because they did that. Because now fans had a reason to go. It would have been the same movie, just different design. He's not wrong. But I know I, I get what you're right, saying. but yeah. I hate that you're right. I mean, it's not yeah. a, they're not it's a not a good example, but for the studio's sake, for money's wise, for on them, it was a very it was like, smart. No, yeah, I, I didn't fantastic. like the design, but I respect the creator's vision. And when they announced they're gonna change it, I kind of got salty about that low key. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Because I, I did like the new design a lot better. It like, is better. It, it is in, it explicitly better. But I'm mad because that and then all of these fucking uh, entitled fan little fanboys yeah. are gonna like bitch about the next movie studio. That's true, but it does set a good example of do not make a stupid ass design, stick to the original concept That's true. if you're going to make I mean, yeah. like it because if they didn't make this dumb ass design in the first place, there would have been no reason to. But granted, if they probably would have stuck with the if they would have made that first the second concept first, mm-hmm. probably nothing would ever came of this movie. It, they, some people because that say, movie had the the marketing behind the completely rechanging it is why that movie was That's a what success. I was gonna say because the, the story was mediocre anyway. Some people thought it was like a, like a marketing thing, like a marketing sound like that, that would have been yeah. extremely smart and for like sh- or um, forward thinking, forward thinking of them. But no, there's no way because they just made animators redo they, an entire. They did it for movie. Deadpool. I remember that. I posted on Facebook. Wait, what, what did they, they do for Deadpool? Deadpool? I showed a VX. Like, it, it could be a rumor, but someone leaked the uh, Deadpool. Uh, oh, that was Ryan Reynolds that leaked it. No, he doesn't know who leaked it. It was Ryan Reynolds. He said leaked he leaked it. I guarantee it. you it was Ryan Reynolds. But he claimed he, he doesn't fucking know. Like, yeah. joking aside, he didn't know. No, 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 no. He, 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 he did it? He needs to say that legally. Oh, okay. But Ryan Reynolds... I might be wrong. Yeah. But <laughs> Ryan... <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, because uh, he wanted to get Deadpool greenlit, mm. and he the studio was like stonewalling him. Yeah, and so he leaked the trailer, or whatever the fuck what the was the VSX leak. thing. It was like unfinished CGI and shit. Yeah. yeah, and he leaked that so that to show the studio that there was Recep- Everyone loved it when it yeah. came out of, it and like here we go. Yeah, or there's no way that that wasn't Ryan Reynolds. That absolutely had to be Ryan, because he that movie was like what. He wasn't out of the map, but that movie is like what brought him to like the celebrity status that he has right now. Yeah. He was like, he was like die hard for Deadpool. Yeah. I would be amazed if Ryan Reynolds did I think he probably believed in, I mean, like him being the character and stuff, he probably believed in it a lot. Yeah. Because he's like, this is going to be a success. He was super passionate about it. And he knew that fans wanted it. Well, and they were also like, I think they were holding back because it was like the first rated R. Yeah. That that was like a big thing. That about film kind of changed superhero movies in terms of yeah. like Logan would have happened with Deadpool. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Dude, Sorry. and Logan was Dude. holy <sighs> shit. Logan's the best Western cinema. Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> <At> cinema. <laughs> Michael Scorsese. <Scorsetti. Jack laughs> <Cowboy>. Fil- <laughs> Dude, film students with a time machine. Yeah. <laughs> they going back to add, like four, like our Hitchcock is like, is this cinema? Like <laughs> Marvel movie <laughs> and Iron Man two. Like, is this cinema? Cinema. Iron Man one is still a great fucking movie. Iron Man one is a fucking fantastic movie. Iron Man 2 and 3. 2 is fine. It's awful. 2 is fine. No, it's not. 3 is garbage. 3 is hot yeah, garbage. Can't agree more. <laughs> Thor 2 is also garbage. 
I, I, I watched. I waited forever to watch Iron Man three, mm-hmm. and I was. I'm glad I waited. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I I haven't been. I haven't seen a movie. What was the last movie where we saw Shang Chi? Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Was the last movie? Shang Chi. I think it was that one. Yeah, we went yeah. together. Saw that shit twice. Yeah, I haven't seen. Oh, dude, I watched Malignant. Oh <laughs> yeah, can we talk? Let's talk about Malignant. Dude, what the fuck is Malignant? So yeah. I, I, I see people talk about this movie. Yeah. And I Twitter searched it, and I saw an action scene. Dude, it's what is this movie? Who corny. The fuck knows it's, it's it? Is such a horror a movie. Corny, campy. No, it, it's mm. James Wan. Yeah. So James Wan directed it. He's so a horror it. horror director. He's a horror director. He, he made Insidious. He made Insidious, Conjuring. The Conjuring. He made all those. All of those movies. Aquaman. So already huge departure from whatever he's used to. Yeah. Uh, well, this is, they said this is a return. So apparently he's not been doing horror films. No, he hasn't minute. done a horror film since like Conjuring. Aquaman three, fucked him up. <laughs> What'd you say? He directed Aquaman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. But he made a he made a he made WB and DC like a huge fucking bag. Yeah, he right. Uh, he about that. So they brought him back and they said, "Hey, I want to make this movie." And he wrote the script with his wife, um, who is in the movie. I don't know if you know this. Is, is she the main character? No, she's the she's the forensic lady that you can is spoil in love it. with the Asian. Can I don't give a shit. Was in love with the is in love with the Asian detective. You know, it's like like you walk into the house and the Asian detective and there's like. This tiny woman that's like super into him, into him. I don't even remember. Yeah, she's wearing his glasses. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. That's uh, that's James Wan's wife. Okay. So James Wan and her wrote the script for this movie. She was like the the leading creative force behind the script, and James Wan used his clout to make this movie. Yeah, from yeah, DC. his notoriety got it green lit, and uh, got it green lit, and it is the most garbage. <laughs> Fucking structurally inconsistent, full of weird choices, misguided fucking movie that I've seen in years, Crockett. When I tell you that I I was mad when I was watching this movie. Paint that for a second. Mm-hmm. So I Google James Wan, yeah. and he has the second highest grossing horror series. Yeah. Guess who has the first? Um, Godzilla. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. What movie? Just a series. It's me overall from franchise and series. That's awesome. Okay, that's that's, that's great. That's weird. I would consider Godzilla it. would be considered a horror. Just one movie. Especially the first one. Three. Yeah, yeah that's it. But yeah. it's not a horror series going forward. That's cool. But go on, sorry. No, nah, you're good. Yeah. Malignant was a disgustingly bad movie, dude. It was... A, it, for those that haven't watched it and those that don't plan to watch it, uh, the main character, Emily Maddie, Madison, whatever the fuck her name is, has a tumor in the back of her head. And... <laughs> And that tumor takes control over her body and starts killing the people that experimented on that. It wasn't a tumor. It was a, it was a parasitic twin. It was a parasitic Parasitic twin. twin. Hold on. I'm sorry. It's a horror movie. Yes. Yes. Well, ah! wait, uh, uh. it's, it's campy. It's campy as hell. No, it's It's not even campy. It's not even campy. It, it, the beginning was campy. The first ten minutes of the movie. Yeah, were campy. that is said. It was such a weird tone. Yeah. It was like the movie. You started, can't tell me it's not campy when she they're sitting there. Is it it's like I have something to tell you. Is I'm it? a twin, or no? It's like not I'm a twin, but uh, fuck. What was it where they like the mu- the music started having dramatic? Oh, it started being that. dramatic. Is it is a sci-fi movie? No, it's so it's it's the she has she this girl fuck this girl had a parasitic twin, and she absorbed them. But the parasitic twin essentially developed into a malignant tumor inside her brain, and so but they started experimenting on the tumor and her because it was such a unique case. And then the tumor started being able to control electricity while on the back of Emily. And it was like controlling uh, the the host like like body. And so they cut it out of her. And then she forgot about it, had no memory of it for years. Her No, no, no. They didn't cut it out. They pushed it into her right. head. They cut they, most of it out and then pushed and it into then her head. And then she had her... And then in the beginning of the movie, her abusive... Uh, boyfriend husband. throws her against a wall and it the, i guess the twin she has like a opening in her head the back of her head yeah and it, i guess it awaken it awakens the the tumor which is her twin yep and then so now there's a killer on the loose going back taking revenge on these doctors it bombed too in a box office dude, dude it is so such bad. a bad movie it's so bad it but, but the movie. monster in it and the the concept of the concept it is, is great. fucking great yeah, it's i love such a it great idea and it's done so bad uh the script the writing in it is god uh, the dialogue is god awful the the cuts are weird the detective does nothing both of those detective they're fucking. talking. They wanted to get uh, what is? 
fuck. I don't. I forget her name. What is the black lady? Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes. Yeah, because they, they got, got a, a disc. Value Wanda what? Sykes. Yeah, what the hell they... are you guys are talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> you. You need to watch the film. Watch I just, I just hear like random words happening, different shit. What is? Yeah, you, so <laughs> it makes no sense because you haven't seen it. Yeah. The movie is very hard to grapple. Is with. it a dream sequence or something? No, no, it's just it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be received as a serious horror movie with serious set pieces and serious <laughs> Resident Evil esque action fights. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Dude, there's an action there's an action sequence in it that is badass. Yeah, that's like Twitter Dude, search it, there. Like people say, like, what is the horror movie? I don't want to. Is this a spoiler or anything? Uh, it's on HBO yeah, Max. We're spoiling the hell out of it. It's on HBO. Yeah, it's on HBO but Max. the movie's not even worth. You said absolutely right. It's, it's absolutely worth fighting, watching. Look at this shit, dude. She this has is, this powers is the, or something? No, this <laughs> is the tumor in the back of her head fighting. She fights backwards. <laughs> her body just. This is a horrible quality video, but like, she's got super strength and can control electricity. And this is just look at this Resident Evil shit. Was she like Carrie or something? No, that's yeah. the monster in the back of her head. The the monster is the twin in the back of her head, so it walks backwards <laughs> like that. And like the fight sequences are done really well. Like it's interesting. It is amazingly. Can interesting. you do the scene where the it wakes up? Go to the comments. Does she have a face behind her head or? So the the host body is in front. Um, ah fuck. Let me see. She. I'm trying. I'm trying to get Tay to understand yeah. this, but it's very, very Look at hard. Shit. Look at how she just massacres all this. This is like the most Resident Evil shit. <laughs> so is she conscious right now? No, no. The don't the- focus on her head. It's the thing in the back of her head is doing yeah. it. The monster. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. This is a horror film. Yeah, her body doesn't even look right. And she's backwards. She's literally backwards. Uh, I, I get I know it yeah, Tay does not confused. understand what's happening. <laughs> yeah. See my face. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so so okay, all right, all right. All right. So this is me, right? This is me, nor a normal person, right? Yeah. Now there's a monster, right, in the yeah. back of my head. The monster would fight like this. This is possible. This is, yeah, she it breaks her arms every time. That's literally like how that's what that's how she's moving. Because yeah. the monster is seen it's it's like another head in Yeah, head. I get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that's what it is. That's so why that's it a horror fights. movie. The horror is about she's controlled by the monster. It the starts, monster is yeah. That's it the horror. It starts as a horror movie. It starts as a Sam Raimi tribute. Got you. The first ten minutes are Sam Raimi could have directed them, and I believe that. Yeah. And then after that, it turns into a dramatic, fucking, meaningless slog of a fucking movie. And then in the third act it turns into Resident Evil Afterlife. It doesn't know what it want to be. It doesn't know what it wants to be. The writing is awful. The characters are awful. The fucking the the execution of everything is awful. There's a zooming shot and literally so like you know how like like in a dialogue scene the camera's fucking still? Yeah. In every single dialogue scene in this fucking movie, the camera was like tracking forward and slowly getting like closer. Tension. Just it, it's supposed to build tension. Yeah. They didn't do a goddamn thing. It was so bad. You also you don't know that it's her killing everybody until the end of the movie. You don't know this thing is coming out of the back of her head until <laughs> like it's like the last twenty minutes of the film. Yo, when that lady fell from the fucking attic. The oh, end. that was so <laughs> stupid. Oh my god. This sounds terrible. Oh man. Oh, it's you awful, should, dude. You should, I was but, watching. But you know what? I had a great time. This is such a memorable movie. It's like a bad movie you'll just forget. I'm a, like this movie is so bad. It. it converges onto like it's good what like is, it's bad good it reminds me like an early 2000s horror action movie like uh what's the movie underworld it reminds me of that a bit the, it the kind of it has a lot of shit like, like, like that, that where it's like black leather straps that's like the monster's like choice of clothing clothing yeah this was like a 2000s action movie they do they do like that's bad scream Type like shots where they have like a close up of like a uh, the the weapon. He Bloody. uses a trophy he, he killed from a doctor and sharpens it into a knife. Blade. And they have a lot of action sequence where they have the the blade and like frame. So and it's like, the, like that. So the tumor is a tumor tumor. It's like no, it's a twin. She had a twin that you know like certain twins when they're born they can be conjoined together. Yeah. Well, this thing was like was it wasn't fully was a parasite. Yeah, it wasn't fully formed and. It, she like instead of like killing the thing because they would have killed her if they would i guess would have cut it off they open up her head when she's a kid this is at the very beginning of the film you don't know this you don't know what's happening you just know it's a monster at the very fi- at the beginning they they open up her head and they push the thing in her head 
and then yeah. they sew her back up. They think like it's just going to be dormant. Yeah, and it was for a and long it was time. until the boyfriend hits her in the head, and then it wakes up, and then it starts going on a killing rampage. Why is it killing people? Because, because it's a sense. It's sentient. jealous because it, it has no life. It has memory, but it was cut out and called a cancer, and it wants revenge for all the doctors that like did it wrong. Tay, Tay, I promise you, no matter how much time. <laughs> I sit here and I explain this fucking movie. It makes me you. angry that yeah. I'm, like, I'm just wasting my yeah. time explaining if it. If you so. don't watch this, you will not get it because it is the worst movie of 2021. Hands down. I don't know. A lot of people are saying so this bad. year is a shitty year for movies. I disagree. I think we had some great I want to talk to you something about the movies. Uh, I see a lot of directors actually mad at streaming service shit right now. Yeah. I, I kind of. It, it, it's but, because the, the business structure of movies is changing. Yeah. And the streaming services aren't adjusting the way that they pay their directors and their crew and all the people to justify it. So what ends up happening is that like someone like Netflix hires you to make a movie. They pay you the traditional way, which a traditional way involves like, it sounds like game pass. <laughs> yeah. It involves <laughs> maybe like a, like a, like a, like an upfront payment. And then, you know, whatever salary you work through the movie. And then you have a period of like where you get royalties. Um, and like whatever is the opening, opening box office you get like a cut, like a cut of that, a cut of the profit that the movie makes. But now a lot of these movies are directing straight to HBO Max or straight to Netflix or whatever. Mm. So you don't get the cut for the the box office. But the movies can be extremely successful, and then the directors and the writers don't see any more money after gotcha. the original deal this, because there's not a box office. Mm. This was the whole thing with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that's Disney. what she. she that's she what I didn't really look into. Story. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She didn't. She wasn't getting a cut of any of the streaming service, and it wasn't negotiated in her contract prior and and disney's contract actually said that she would have an unsimultaneous release on theaters first and then it would release in disney plus they must have did it later because disney plus wasn't even a thing at the time well it was after it got delayed by the pandemic because black widow got delayed by the plan the pandemic plus it came out two years ago right yeah right so but it's it's just that it's just like the business model with with streaming has changed pretty drastically and there's been no adjustment to to uh, pl- pay these people. Gotcha. So what ends up happening is that like companies like Netflix and HBO end up making a shit ton of money off of these movies, uh, but then nobody else besides Netflix is seeing that money, and people are pissed about it. That makes sense. Yeah, I see Chris Stuckman. I mean, I like the guy. He makes good reviews. Dude, he's a, yeah, he's a great film. That's what that's the style that I emulate when I make my film review yeah. videos. Did you like the video? I mean, like he liked the movie. Because this has gave me hope. He probably fucking gave me hope. That means it sucked. I'll cue that up and then. Uh, He's the only guy I watch. Uh, what are we, where are we at right now? Uh, probably time to wrap it. Yeah. It's one eighteen, baby. Oh, I was gonna say earlier. I was washing my car before I came here. Yeah. And this old lady came. So, so I saw her walk by, like probably like thirty minutes prior. Mm-hmm. And I guess thirty minutes passed by. She come back to me, ask me questions. It's a black lady. Oh, so questions. She was, was lost. Ominous. She was lost. Like, she, how did I get to this certain place? She she got dropped off here, and she was a time traveler. No, she had dementia. Yeah. Oh, and her, really? Her son pulls up, and like I'm so sorry. Thank you. She has dementia. I let her out. Like, what do you mean you let her out? And you let her out. <laughs> like she got fucking, out. Damn, dude, that, that, sucks. that shocked the hell out of me. That's yeah. scary. That happens, man. Your brain, your brain fucking sucks. How do you? Brains, brains collapse. She didn't know where she were. Nope. And her son just comes by and picks up. You know what the dementia is? It's his mom. Huh? I think dementia is literally like holes in your brain. Yeah, it's like eating something, right? Yeah, it's like eating itself. And it's the your brain's decaying. And it, yeah. Yeah. That's scary. While well, you're alive, that's terrifying. I'm like, Jesus Christ. What happened to that? <laughs> yeah. I used to think uh, <laughs> Alzheimer's. Yeah. I, th- I thought it used to be called old timers. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's because it's like old people would get it. So like, oh yeah, you got old timers. That's one of my worst fears is getting that. Imagine losing your memory. I would just. You ever seen those videos where they kind of like. We're, we're we really going to end, mm-hmm. end on a somber note yeah, here. Like, that. geez. <laughs> just cut the. I hope I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just cut it right there. <laughs> Dude. I hope I when I'm old, I get like abusive boyfriend and then my tumor wakes up and goes on a killing spree <laughs> and then it's malignant too how would you actually found a twin you didn't know the entire in time in the show right here Brian <laughs> <laughs> how would I react yeah 
if there was another one of me or another person that looked exactly they say like this they, they say like there's like a one chance that like there's someone out there that looks like you yeah doppelganger dude i got like fucking five of them dude i know he's in iceland reggie Watts. i know iceland. no iceland. he's he's iceland <laughs> and it's, just, it's brian but he's like red-headed it's like yeah, reggie Watts might be one of those guys yeah, no, me and Reggie Watts, I did a face swap with me and Reggie Watts, and we looked almost thing. identical. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I could play young Reggie Watts in a movie. I yeah. want to play wrong. Reggie Watts, if you see this shit, hit me up. Let's write a script. I can do it. This someone thought you were someone? Uh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Garcia. Garcia. I got Jerry Garcia. I got Reggie Watts. Any got, relatively brown guy with poofy hair. They got literally probably put you on Facebook. Oh, absolutely. I'm he took it. That was so weird. He took a picture of Brian. He's like, oh, I love it. Can you put your hands up yeah. for me? <laughs> it's just a big blown up poster of Brian over his bed. He's like, Yeah, I'm just in that guy's like intimate life now. Never know. Never know. You ever think about, I, I don't want to start something at the end of the podcast, yeah. but you guys ever think about like when people are filming or are taking photos or they're doing like a, uh, like a family film mm-hmm. and then you're just in the background of their family film. Do you think about that? Like how many how many photos are you in the background of like people's like they could have a family photo at a park or something and you're in the background of it. Just like you're thinking about like just going to someone's house and you're like, what the hell? Is that me? <laughs> uh, recently, uh Greg Miller <laughs> from Kinda Funny. <laughs> he uh someone sent him a photo, a video of Wizard. Is it called WizardCon? Yeah. Wizard World, what the hell is called? Uh from nineteen ninety five with his dad and someone screens cap and he didn't see this before. So there's like was, random footage someone had and he's in the video from oh, 1995. Wow. That's crazy. He started crying like that. Oh, that's like, adorable. Crazy. Like, it's like one of those moments like those people you see mm-hmm. or those people in your dreams you don't know. Oh, yeah. Everyone everyone has a life that you have no idea about. Yeah. Any person that you see in like a park or in, like, in a grocery backstory. store have a full fucking life. That makes me think of this saying. Yeah. It's like whatever time you see a hot girl. So you always got to think. You always got to think. So like someone, somewhere out in the world is just tired of her shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think about. No, that. don't fucking I, yeah. That. I, I, I think about that. House. I think about that every single <laughs> time. I forget where I heard that saying. Probably from some <laughs> sexist uncle at a barbecue. No, 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 no. But it's true. No, no, it's not no matter how hot someone is. What's the movie? Someone, someone is tired of their what, shit. I would have experienced that for a day. I would love to. It's the same. Experience what Mel just Gibson? Have a vagina. No, no, a woman. Oh, what no, no, Mel no, Gibson? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> wrong, wrong. You, know, you can read what women's mind. Yeah, what woman? He got like oh. women are not that complicated. That would be interesting though. That's such an early two thousand concept. Was, I was like, yeah. what whoa, think? what are women thinking about? It's like I got to take a shit. They made it. They made That'd a, be the realistic version. They, like, they made it. They made a remake of that with a yeah, man. What men? What yeah. what men? What want. men want? Yeah. yeah. Can we just get an original idea? Can I just get malignant too already? You get what? <laughs> Make my LinkedIn too. <laughs> just we just don't get original ideas anymore. Yeah, we do. This is why them. we can't have like because malignant can't work, so we gotta keep redoing. We gotta gender swap Ghostbusters again. Make them men. <laughs> we gotta string them down to children now. When that new one come out? I don't know. Isn't Paul Rudd in it? I hope yeah. it does good. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing I mean, shitty films. Ghostbusters: The Force Awakens. That's what it, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Brian when I said it. Theaters. It's the exact same trailer <laughs> yeah. from The Force Awakens. The exact same trailer. Someone in Hollywood so is apart. making just cookie cuttering. Dude, Mendes, Mendes a pillow behind you. I'm Just really sleep. trying not to lay back because yeah, it's going to be it. 50% my hair, 50% Mendes hair. When I do it, lay back. I might. Well, Venom comes out next week, right? Next week? I think. Really? Like October 1st it comes out. Oh, I'm yeah. not paying attention at all to this movie. Yeah. I'm I just, excited I to see the action movie. I got to see the first one. Yeah, let's see. Go ahead. I'm fucking ending the show. Where can they find you, Brian? You can find me on Twitter at Brian Chia and on Twitch at Brian Brownie. Crocker, where can I find you at? And we're in the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can find, and then just cut it right yeah. here. A SpongeBob episode. The secret ingredient is, yes. and it cuts. It cuts. I promise to you, they tell you one time. They do? They did back in the day. You know, there's a. It's like a Mandela. God, I hate Mandela. starting a fucking conversation. But the. Postcards. Crabs. Crabs. Crab meat, right? <laughs> Crocker, just. <laughs> you know, I'll focus it. End it right here.